Well, good night, everyone in Barbados and throughout the Eastern Caribbean. This is the National Stadium at Waterford. And tonight, we are here to bring you the 1994 Eddie's Pick of the Crop Finals. As you can see, lots of people are here, despite the uh, showers that we had a little earlier on. Uh, checking into the stands and the grounds, as you can see, it is a beautiful sight. We are ready to crown a monarch, perhaps a monarch twice. Who knows? A newcomer, perhaps a lady for the second time around. Someone will win the Eddie's Pick of the Crop title tonight. And uh, we're going to make sure that we don't move until you know who it is. Good evening, I'm Terry Mears, and I'm going to be here along with Captain Roy Corbin, who is going to be assisting me, along with Stetson Babb, of course. Captain Corbin is the uh, director of the Barbados Defense Force Band, and he has been a judge. He was a judge in 1989, chief, chief judge in 1990, and he also judged in 1992. So we have a lot of expert uh, time coming up, a lot of expert things coming, lots of music, lots of entertainment, and we're doing it right here for you. We're going to take a break and come back and start the evening's proceedings. Due to the overwhelming success of the Julianne Super Sale, the sale has now been held over. Hurry! It's here. The people's dream has come true. Julianne has now unleashed thousands of sizzling, fascinating store-wide specials. A special treat. One dozen eggs with box, $2.99. A special offer on new pantry queen tomato ketchup, now $1.99. Wizard air freshener and several delightful fragrances, cut to cost, $3.99. One pound Revlon relaxer, now down to $12.99. Would you believe Jergens Bob soap, now only 79 cents. Original comp land at a super low, $9.99. 18 ounce junior cornflakes, reduced to $4.99, 750-milliliter ESA Field Rum at a ridiculously low $7.59, two-liter Purity Drink, now only $2.99, and yes, prepare early for back to school, exercise books at a price too good to miss, only 39 cents. Julie. Julianne, the people's choice. Nothing outlasts the Energizer battery. It keeps going and going and going. Well, a very good evening to you again, and I, s I say welcome to, to Captain Roy Corbin. Uh, Roy, Thank you, you very doing, much, man? Terry. Nice to have you on the panel with us. Well, this evening, we have got a spectacular night. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, very keen on this year's competition uh, with respects to uh, the, the, the type of... Uh, not only the material, but the caliber of performers, performers more so yeah. than, uh, than, than we've had in, in previous years. And I think for all intents and purposes, tonight should be a pretty good show, let alone a competition. Well, I think tonight should be a good show, uh, also a good competition, because you've got some newcomers that people are referring to dar dark horses. Yeah. I don't believe there's such thing as a dark horse. Right. Uh, one, one has the ability to come in there and perform just as good as the previous king or those who have been kings before, or even last year. Then I don't think they're a dark horse. Uh, as you know, Waterford decides who is going to be it. Right. When you go on the big stage and you get the cold winds coming through and the drizzle rain, then it determines how you're going to sing. And uh, I don't think really that the competition is going to be the kind of competition that anyone is going to be out ahead. It's going to be very, very close. All right. Well, we've got two newcomers who have come out in very strong fashion in the preliminaries and, and certainly on, on semi-finals night, last Sunday night here at, at the stadium. Uh, any thoughts on those before we get well down? Well, I, w I was here on Sunday night at the semi-finals, and uh, uh, the, 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 the what people refer as, as the young Calypsonians. But I think they're very good, especially TC. She has, uh, her rendition was quite good, uh, her presentation, and uh, I think she should be someone to reckon with tonight. Uh, Nos, on the whole, he He's referred to him as a youngster, but he's been in the entertainment field for a number of years. Very true. Really he's a youngster. With reunion, and he's been singing throughout the 70s right. and 80s. So yeah, 70s and 80s. Yeah. So I, I think he, they all have a good chance, and uh, it, it's going to be tight. It is going to be it's very it's interesting. Going to be tight. It's going to be very interesting, too. King Serenader has said that he will not be giving up the, the, the title as easily as uh, previous kings have and queens have done in the past, and so we can look forward to that. As we look across the stadium, the rain is indeed falling. Uh, I predicted some kind of rain at some time. I hope I didn't put my mouth on the whole competition. But you know, Punk is here. He's got a donkey. And you know what happened <laughs> in 83. All, right. all that notwithstanding. But as you can see, the rain is falling here at the National Stadium as we look across. And uh, one would expect that uh, hopefully this wouldn't be too much of a deterrent and that we can have a, a, a crowning tonight. I can remember one year of uh, Rosa. 
Yes. Singing in the rain. That's right. And, and that, that, that I, we hope we will reach the stage tonight. I think that's one of the reasons that the, the, the orchestra is now covered because it used to be open and it was not very good for a guy to be playing a bass, electric bass guitar yeah, and yeah. it's raining through the night. Right. So it's, things has improved up there. So the, the, the band uh, would not be any way diminished after rainfall because it's covered. The, the artist might have a bit of a problem according to, uh, uh, as far as I see up there, it might be a bit slippery and if it's not mopped off quite properly. Right. But I, I think uh, if, we, if we don't get a lot of rain, and uh, because I s was out there not long ago and I saw some stars was out, so I believe that uh, if, if, if it rains a bit and then it goes off, then we should I don't think it would dampen the performance. All right. Okay, well, we'll take a break and uh, we will come back hopefully with the start of the 1994 uh, Eddie's Pick of the Crop. We've got the Junior Calypso Queen to come on stage, of course. A red plastic bag is going to be here. The Great Crew, a good pre competition show before we get into the real thing. But we'll be back in a moment. When there's another cocktail party on the calendar to attend, but you still need to be social, pick the new light, great tasting brew for refreshment Bajan Light Beer. With a boom, boom, bang, grab over the time, I feel you hate while standing the killing the competition dead. A pia, pia, pia. I know you all would agree, standard has lowest prices, guaranteed. With this man in your face, furniture and appliances in the place, who's a standard new springer? Check a ready gun slinger. Shooting down the prices, just what you need during this crisis. Who's a standard new springer? Check a ready gun slinger. Point Garden will be transformed into an all-day party on Saturday, July 30th at the Super Chick Bridgetown Market from 9 a.m. until 11 p.m. There will be food and drinks galore, a craft market and entertainment by the Saraval dancers, Sing Out Barbados, Cassius Clear, Black Pudding Tuck Man, Adisa and Dweller, the Contenders Calypso Tent and more. Also come to Bridgetown Market on Sunday, July 31st from 2 p.m. featuring a gospel show at 4 p.m. Yes, we have time. My name's Robbie Dredge. Any time I come to Barbados, I come to Dancewell for the best music. Thank you. Massive 20% discount. Okay, as you look across, uh, the umbrellas are up. Uh, perhaps reminiscent of 1983, uh, Captain Corbin, with all the umbrellas. Uh, in, in, that, in that time, it was all red umbrellas and red bags and everything else. This time, it's all the different colors. Everybody is... Uh, seeking some form of shelter. I hope this wouldn't put too much of a delay in things this evening. I, I hope not. Uh, I wasn't here in 1983. In 1983, I was planning to move back to Barbados in 1988. Which that was five, five years from there. But from what I understand, uh, I w it was that kind of a night that I think everything got washed out completely. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's unfortunate. I hope that doesn't happen tonight because in 1988, for Kaduma Day, I think the whole thing got washed yeah, out completely, right. either in 97 or 88. Uh, I think it's very hard when artists have prepared uh, spend a lot of time to, to, to get the lyrics and musicians have spent a lot of time to arrange calypsos and you expect to perform and then you, you, you get the rain. Uh, pe people say we need it but uh, we do need it but uh, we don't need it that much so that we, we need to wash the show out. So I, I hope that uh, the weather would, 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 would hold up a bit and we'll be able to get on with the show and I, I am looking forward uh, to this, and I am sure that we have a pretty good performance tonight. All right, let's examine what, what one may consider the keys to, to victory tonight. Uh, at this stage, rendish, uh, at this stage, lyrics and melody, uh, you being a former judge would per perhaps be able to lend some, some expert comment on this. Uh, lyrics and melody may or may not be, be, be changed in, in terms of points and how you, how you right. sing and so on. That, that should more or less be honor about what it was, give or take a few points. Uh, people like Observer can, right. can ad-lib and so right. on and perhaps yeah. score a little bit more. Tonight, I think rendition and, 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 and presentation, presentation will, will be paramount. I, I, al I always discuss this with friends, and, and I, I say, well, after, this, after the semifinals is finished, and they've picked the seven and along with the Kings eight, the lyrics and melody is there already, is established who has good lyrics in comparison to, to who, and the lyrics are there, everyone knows the lyrics. Now, when we get here and of the finals, we, we are thinking now of rendition and performance. Right. And these are the two things that, that is going to make the monarch tonight. Right. To come out there under these conditions and give a good rendition along with the other parts of presentation as using the stage correctly and all these kinds of things and, and, and along with props and all these kinds of things. But I, thi I think that, that, that that's the main function at the finals is to move right into, is to move right into rendition and presentation because everyone has established already what's a good melody, 
uh, whose melody is better than the other's melody, right. whose lyrics are better than the other lyrics. So now at this point in time, it's, it's a performance. It's a performance. And uh, performing tonight, the festival band, I can see Colin Dial Colin there. Colin is getting uh, ready. Andre Woodvine, David Weatherhead is there, and the entire uh, band will be looking forward to, to a good night, I hope. Uh, the leader of the band is, of course, Smokey Roy, uh, trumpet, Ricky Brathwit, Sherlyn Arthur, and Keith Ellis. Uh, saxophones, uh, you just saw Andre Woodvine, David Weatherhead, and Colin Dial there. Uh, two alto sax and tenor sax. Also, Cortez Callender on uh, on tenor sax, and, and there he is in, in your picture, to the, to the well, just out of your screen now. Uh, we've got Lyle Brooms and Anderson Griffith. Uh, on trombone, keyboardist uh, Roger Gittins, John Matthews is uh, a perennial guitar, lead guitar player, and uh, we've got Elvis Edwards on bass. Percussionists are Alverno Del Congo, Vern Best, and Nigel, Nigel Willock, and of course, Jack Benny, Ronald Cummins on drums, and there's Elvis Edwards, Elvis the Elvis. bassman, and uh, Jack Benny. These guys have been working quite hard, and they, they seem to look forward to, to everything that goes on uh, at this time of the year. There's Smokey Roy uh, getting ready. So the band is here. Yeah, and, uh, I they're all set. They've yeah, been they're ready hard to go. The front, uh, I could understand that. Uh, one of the things I used to do is when I was coming home from work on vacation, is I usually get him for the night of the semifinals, and for the next week I spend my whole week then at the stage head, right. listening to, to the guys getting ready for for the nights of the finals. They work very hard. Uh, they're from there, I think, from ten o'clock in the morning, and they work very hard. And it, it's quite interesting that as they improve, how the band has improved, how the musicians within the band has improved. And I think that's great. Uh, I think to, 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 to come on a stage and have a band that you have confidence that they're going to play, play your music mm -hmm. and back you up properly is, is, is quite, quite, quite reasonable. All right. Let's examine uh, the, the contestants at this point. Now, the stage is, is relatively wet at this point. Serenade is going to perform strip to start it out. I think that the, the, if the, uh, the uh, actual flooring is not as, as <laughs> dry as he would want, it, it could pose problems for the first few calypso well, that's going out. Well, if, 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 if Serenade goes out there and strip, uh, he might and, and it's right, right <laughs> uh, that's a part of a calypso, you see. Right. So, so that, that should be quite interesting. And we must note that he's not coming in now. At, at, I don't think he's coming in at, at number one anymore. He is it? I, I understand there was going to be a change. I right. don't know. I'm not sure. I, well, we can check that. I thought the change was between TC and Invader. 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 Okay. It's okay. serenaded at its change. So, so the serenade. national anthem is on. Let's uh, pause. Well, there you have it. The national anthem of Barbados signaling the start of proceedings here tonight. And that is a car. The NCF car.
54. How are you feeling? On behalf of the National Cultural Foundation, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you here. Over there, let me hear you holler. Over here, holler for me. VIP stand, let me hear you. Over here, shout it out. Over yonder, stand. Grounds posse. Welcome to the National Stadium. Eddie's Pick of the Crop Finals, 94. We first would like to apologize for the early start. It is a rainy night in Barbados. Those of you who are at the National Stadium for the first time, this place was opened in the 70s by His Royal Highness Prince Charles of Wales. Therefore, you are now sitting on his erection. Hold tight. Trevor Eastman says so. I say it once, I'm going to say it again. All right. We would like to apologize. But, it, but there's Trevor, Trevor Eastman, of course, uh, doing Trevor Eastman's thing. Right. And uh, he is one of two MCs that we've got this evening. I don't recall that ever happening before where we had two MCs for a final. Uh, I, I, I've done it, but you have the two best, Trevor and Matt Fingal. So that's, that's going to be a very good show. I should, I, I, a word of note that Trevor last week was uh, quite good and yeah. uh, was very efficient and expeditious in, uh, in uh, delivering the, the show, uh, uh, the, the semi-finals yeah. with 36 performances and uh, a lot a lot has been said about, about the way he handled the show and yeah, it proves he that he can he handle the big show as it well. Was, he handled it quite efficiently. All right, well, let's take a look at what we can expect tonight. We've got uh, the, the Junior Calypso monarch, Malaika, singing her song, He Cannot Be yeah. a Bajan. I yeah, don't know yeah. if you had an opportunity to see and hear her performance. Yeah, I, 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 I as usual, like to attend all of the, especially the juniors, to hear what what the youngsters can do, and uh, it was a very it was a very tight competition. Uh, I had my favorite, uh, Mighty Tiny. Yeah. Uh, she came second, and it, it was it was a quite good competition for the youngsters. I think that some of, some of the guys about 16 and so now should start move into the senior tent. Into the senior tent. And let the younger the younger kids uh, perform, right. which is quite good. Right. All right. And uh, of course, we've got the great Carew, and Carew has been uh, improving and developing by leaps and bounds over the last few years. Well, I, 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 have, I have seen Carew improve in front of my eyes. Within the last three years, he has improved quite a lot. Uh, mad woman jamming, um, no wax for that. Yeah. One of the things that we comment, comment here is that I, I, I can't see how Bow Wow Wow did not make the road march, and I think it was 1987. That was 87, 80, 87 yeah. 87, mm -hmm. which surprised me, and uh, uh, I remember uh, you still sat in the stadium, and when he came on, the whole stadium broke down. But yeah, eventually, yeah. and it was on the road, but it never was a road match. That was a great surprise. Well, you see, that, that, that that's why I have this this, this particular bone of contention uh, about road march as a, as opposed to tune of the crop, right, yeah. which we call a tune, tune of the crop, of the crop which right. in truth and in fact is not necessarily so. Right. One can be both, right. but there are instances where one is one and one is, and another one is, is the other. But uh, that, that's another discussion, that's another <laughs> that, discussion. that we can deal with. Yeah, we can deal with yeah. But uh, certainly get looking into the competition tonight, um, uh, all the various polls and surveys and so on that people have been getting involved in right. have pointed towards John King and Serenader as the two top guns to, to run tonight. But I, th I think what has happened is that John has took a rest from competitive Calypso and he's rejuvenated. He's, he comes back out. He came back out very good uh, at the preliminaries. Uh, I enjoy hearing him again. Uh, Serenada has been in there. He's been a king. He's been king twice within the last last uh, four years. Last four years, yeah. And uh, it's going to be a good competition between those two guys. All right. We'll come and examine the rest of the uh, competitors and just, well, the rest of the contestants in the Eddies Pick It A Crop for 1994. We will take a break, and we will come back here to the National Stadium to start the show. Imagine you're a roll of film. After capturing lots of wonderful...
wonderful memories, you want to show your vivid colors as soon as possible. You must be processed out of PhotoFinish One Hour Lab. The high-tech equipment at either Broad Street or Worthing turns you into high-quality pictures in as little as one hour. They also offer a variety of accessories and services, too, at PhotoFinish One Hour Labs. Get a free mini-album with every roll of film processed. This offer is good while stocks last. Bounce it up with the Troubadours International and DJ Dynasty at Sunset Crest Beach Club Saturday, July 30th for Bajan Back in Our 3. Lots of surprises and prizes. Win a free trip, compliments nation travel. The Troubadours International, bouncing for Kapova. All right, as you see, the rain's still falling here. Not, not too, too heavy now, but uh, enough to cause confusion. And uh, I suppose once the heat starts to develop in here and build, uh, that, that, that rain that you're seeing there will make very little difference to, uh, to certainly to the patrons. It will be more of a cause for concern to the uh, contestants here contestants, tonight yeah. as, as they go down. It's good to see Termite bat. Uh, Termite has been uh, there or thereabouts over the years. Last year, he was a semi-finalist, didn't make it to the, to the final eight, but uh, he is back. And he is ready. We're going to go on stage, though, because Trevor Eastman is making an introduction. That would be for Malaika, I believe. And uh, then we will see if, if, if he's not ready for us. We will come right, back and discuss. Back, yeah. Tomorrow night, same thing. For those of you who have to get the 12 o'clock bus, I guarantee you I will get you out of here. Not tonight, maybe tomorrow. So hold tight. We coming at you. And all the women looking so nice. Bajan men, give the women some rounds of applause, please. They're looking nice. It should be a very interesting like show to tonight. As you can see, it's like cricket. We well, always compare cricket to Calypso. Yeah. And the covers are, co <laughs> covers are coming <laughs> the off. The covers are coming off. <laughs> man. <laughs> I well imagine that uh, very soon the umpires will, will, will we'll be, be out. out. Right. <laughs> to set the bills once again. And we will be underway for the 1994 Eddie's Pick of the Crop Finals. What promises to be a great one. And uh, a lot of history and a lot of histrionics are happening here. Because we've got a man who has won the, the, the crown already twice. Twice within the last four years. Within the last four years. And uh, he, could be un he could do it three times. Uh, in less time than, 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 than anyone else, than has, anyone else has because uh, Red Plastic Bag has won it uh, three times. We did it in 82, 84, and then 89. So that was kind that's of that's over a seven-year period or nine-year period. Nine period. And uh, now we've got Observer, someone uh, who has been there and, and to many people's minds has won the crown in 1991. Uh, he was since then dubbed the People's King. <laughs> uh, coming closer, close. And... Uh, we are looking forward to hearing from everyone, you know, Observer. We'll come down the line in a little while, but let's go and get ready for the Junior Calypso Monica Barbados, right. Malaika. This is young Malika. Malika. Malika, Malika. Your pronunciation doesn't make no difference. Give it up for the Junior Calypso Monarch 1994. Coming at ya.
is as hard as, well, as a brick. The brick, however, has biscuit wafers on the outside and delicious French vanilla ice cream on the inside. Mmm, delightful. This brick tastes awful. The brick tastes great. Now, which one would you prefer? Hmm, to build a wall or to eat? The brick, chocolate or vanilla wafers with smooth French vanilla ice cream. Only from Baiko. As if Sail the seas with the number one tea. Set sail on October 24th on a luxurious Royal Caribbean cruise through the Bahamas. Then sail on to dynamic Miami. This trip for two includes airfare, cruise, hotel accommodation, and 1,000 US spending money. Or win a fabulous Sharp Entertainment Center and more. Just send two Lipton Yellow Label Tea box tops to this address. Lipton Yellow Label Tea, number one wherever you go.
me get rich, it can't be fire, fire, down by the highway. Look a word of water from early, call the police for me. Tell the rest me and say it's in before I hurt somebody. Look a word of water from early, bring out the ambulance. Out of the uh, Conqueror's Calypso tent, and, and you know, Roy, based on his uh, preliminary performance for judging, I thought that, you know, give or take, he could have he could have been, been, been in the 18, in you know, the 18. he was really strong on judging that. Well, Kuro, Kuro has always, within the last three years, he has improved quite a bit. Uh, his tone of voice, is, 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 is he has, still has his usual mannerisms. And uh, you know he used to be, he used to be among the 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 the, the, the uh, we used to call him the clown princes yes, uh, yes, yes. himself and and uh, Georgie Porgy and Cobra and, and, and those guys and he's he, you you wouldn't believe today that that he used to be with those guys That's he's right. improved so much. That's right. And uh, you know 
as you said, he seems to be looking a little younger. Yes, he, look, he, he looks to me to like he's, he's getting younger, yeah. He looks, yeah, he's, looking, he's looking pretty good. He's pretty fit to use up the stage and he move up and down. He wouldn't believe he's someone of his age. Yeah, yeah, he's doing well. But now, uh, that, that's, that's, a, that's the entertainment part. That's now, it, we get now we to get to seriousness. Now we get down to business. And uh, Serenator will indeed start with Strip. As you can see, the judges on the other side. Yeah. Uh, let's see who we can see. Uh, there's Lord Radio in the Lord red. Lord Radio in the left. Washbrook, Washbrook Bend is. Um, that's David Leslie. Uh, that's uh, the. Um, that's Cecil. Cecil Archer. Cecil Archer. I see David Leslie is and here. And David as Leslie, well. he's the chief judge. He he's there also. Judge, and uh, right. beside him is. Um, and I'm losing it there with the, with uh, the crowd. But uh, the, crowd the judges are definitely there. They're, they're, ready, to do, they're, they're ready to do it. tell you about the judges in full force as we go along tonight. But as we look, look at our program, uh, Strip. Keep hope alive, none of that. Don't ask me no questions. What does it mean? 20 years under the privilege and I'm back. Although I suspect that Invader may be singing penal justice in the first half because I was talking uh, to I him. I think there's going to be a change somewhere in there. Yeah, I, th I was talking to him a little earlier on and he said that he would prefer to sing penal justice uh, first. And first. Is what does it mean uh, for the second for the half. Second but number. we'll see how that goes. Regardless of whatever happens, he will be singing uh, both of them. And before I get any further, there's a little girl I must say hello to. Her name is Tammy Pilgrim. I promised her on, on the radio that I would say good night to her. So Tammy Pilgrim, good night to you. And I hope that you are enjoying the show and that your your favorite will win tonight for sure. Well, I have my set of people today too from my, my company, uh, people over at CCPU, all my friends at CCPU, and all the friends from Dad Canada National Incorporated. Hi, I hope you're watching the show and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you're favorite win the show tonight. All right, and to all the mayor's posse, good night and good luck. Tonight, it's the Pick of the Crop Finals. We'll take a break and come back with more. I'm glad I passed the unbreakable. My dream was to win the lotto, and I did. Lotto, if you've got a dream, you've got a chance. There we see the judges uh, once again, and uh, Trevor Eastman is going through the uh, the introductions. But we can do them for you here. We've got uh, David Leslie. He is a chief judge. He's a chief judge here. And uh, we've got Mr. Eddie Corbin. Eddie Corbin. Any relation? Ah, uh, yeah, we have some distant relation. We're from the same part, of north of the country, okay. St. Peter, St. Lucie. All right. Most Corbins from that area, family well, basically. We'll family somewhere along somewhere the line. Somewhere along the line. Mr. Thomas Roach is also uh, one of the judges. So too, Mr. Victor Pilgrim. Victor Pilgrim. Uh, we, we identified Mr. Washbrook Bain earlier on. Also, Desmond Weeks, Desmond formerly Weeks. of the Greatness, too. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Oliver Broome, Oliver everyone Broome. knows him as Lord Radio. And the tabulator yes, is Mr. Cecil, 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 Cecil Archer. Archer. So I don't know um, if you're familiar with, with most of the judges. And uh, I am familiar. I've judged with uh, uh, David Leslie. I've judged with uh, Victor Pilgrim and Wasbrook Brand, and I've judged with the junior club someone with, with Eddie Corbin. So the, the others, I don't know them quite well, but I, I know they're capable judges from the way they judge the preliminaries and what they did, with, did at the semifinals. So I, I don't have any problem with the judges at all. So you, you would figure that, that, that so far, a lot of people have been quite pleased with, with the way the judges have dealt with the whole uh, system this year. Well, uh, I, one, one name that comes up readily is Bumba, and a lot of people have said that judges do not have the heart to leave Bumba or don't have the, the, f the fortitude to leave Bumba out of any competition. Uh, but this year we've seen we've seen that change. Well, I, I, I think it, it is one's performance that put them in the competition, not the, 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 the sympathy of the judges. Uh, you, you get people who perform, uh, I will go back here before I, I, I say this, is that you, you hear, hear the thing about shareholders. Right. I don't believe in a shareholder. These are the people who perform top every year. Merit. And, and they are merit. They are not there, they say shareholders, which I, I don't think 
is, is a good title. They're performing, if you look who, who, who people presume to be shareholders are people who perform quite in the top every year. Uh, Bumber if has been if consistent. Anything, they've got shareholdings in talent in and talent. ability. And the talent <laughs> ability, not the stadium. Yeah. But uh, the judges have done a good job. I think they carry on from, from there's a bit of a change in the panel. Because from 89, uh, 89 up, up until last year, that panel was basically a certain amount of people, including myself. Uh, and we worked quite hard at it. These set of judges has taken over and they've, they've continued to, with, with the, in the same mold. Right. So because I came to the semifinals and I had actually the same seven people with the exception of, of two people who I mean might have been close that right. I could use in case of, of one or two people. Okay. So I think they did quite a bit job, a good job. All right. And uh, as I usually say too, that uh, you you know you know you know when you've done a good job is the next morning you, you hear nothing at all, not even a whimper on the radio, on the radio or, or TV. nightmares or anything like that. Right. <laughs> you know you've done a good job. Well, we'll see we'll see how things go down, but I don't think it's going to be very easy tonight. I think tonight is a tough night. Tonight is a tonight. tough night. Right. But as we said earlier, it's going to come down basically to the rendition, rendition and, 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 and presentation, and presentation. And if we could. Uh, a lot of people do not always interpret rendition in terms of clips, so perhaps you could you could give uh, us what you uh, rendition, what you're for. rendition. There are things that come on the rendi rendition. Uh, we should say how 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 well you can hear Calypsonian. That that's part of rendition. Uh, I don't want to get any technicalities and, and I make make this a, a, a big technical thing. Uh, Calypsonian is, is the people's art and it's from the ground. Some people try to approach. Uh, call it so with Oxford English and, and, and get people misled. Um, the eloquence of a Calypsonian does not mean that he's speaking or singing proper English. Right. The eloquence is how how he produce how he produces voice, uh, how he sings, and things along that line. Um, the, 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 the great things that you have to look at is how well do you understand him? I'm not looking for Michael. You got to know how well you can understand him. How well has he interpreted the theme of his calypso? How, he, how, 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 how the theme and the title of the calypso go, and how he projects it to you? Th that's the kind of thing that you find basically in rendition. Uh, a lot of people are going to talk about simile and metaphors, but these things are Oxford English. Yeah. And I, I don't particularly like in discussing calypso to use them really. I like where the ordinary man can understand well, the sameness of a word, like happiness. Right. If you look at happiness, you say a woman loves her happiness. And if you look at it quite like it sounds like something else. Yeah. yeah. They need to change the words, and th that's quite quite good. And that has a lot to do with his phrasing and his phrasing, and uh, uh, his, his, his diction. Uh, how, how diction is one of the big things. You you when when someone go uh, someone go to sing, you must be able to to hear what he's singing. If you if someone has bad diction, uh, I could give an example. Take kid's sight. Very very good diction. Uh, if if you go into the model. To the old battle word, Nat King Cole, very yeah. good diction. Yeah. And this is what has a helps a catch. This is another part of presentation, which which is very important for the judges to hear him and for the audience to hear what he's singing. And that's that's another important part of yeah, presentation. Because a lot of people uh, often uh, misrepresent presentation for props, which do form part of it, but I would imagine that yeah, presentation it, it goes beyond the it props. It goes beyond that because if you have the, the most fabulous props, and the judges can't understand what you're singing. And how they relate to the song. How it relates to the song. Right. Well, it there's it no it use it having it props. It may, it may make no sense having them. Having, and, uh, having they props can probably detract from, from your we points. Did, from your it points it well. detract, detract from your points. So I agree right. with that. All right. And uh, as we look around uh, with the other criteria, things like lyrics, a lot of people, uh, mis to my mind, mis misinterpret lyrics to be words. Right. Uh, 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 you know, like they would say about his song, no having the lyrics. <laughs> when the truth and in fact they mean they don't have many words. Many, well, not well, wordy. Some people believe that to have good lyrics, you have to be Shakespearean. Yeah. You don't have to be Shakespearean. Uh, if, if, you, if you think, if you, if you. Okay, well, we're going to go to Trevor Eastman because he's on, he's on stage. The king, I believe, will be coming out to perform first. Let's go this to Trevor Eastman. Is Serenada. We are announcing the arrival of Airstrip Barbados.
Update the law and then arrest the culprit. What you hold them for when the whole country gets its trip? I thought it was rude if my country go and knew. To get this thing stopped, just to start a rest from the top. Look at the treasury yes, and the ministry. Yes, I hear the tourist board yes, and the transport board. Yes, Some said when it's true, otherwise they would strip it too. I don't care what police can do. Look, tonight I go strip for you. Don't so take off, take off some more. Strip! Take off some more, take off, take off some more. Take off some more. Shoot! Take it off. Suck! Take it off. Bat! Take it off. Shirt! Take it off. So take off, take off some more. Strip! Take off some more, take off, take off some more. Strip! Take off some more. Jump in. Jump up. Outside the rent is owned by the NFC. To order one cent, they will strip me for people see. I don't like to strip, but I got to see this style. My body will fit, and I send all them women wild. Pack your motor car, get a strip. Farmers they are, get a strip. The whole police force, get a strip. Nurses of course, get a strip. My person and crew, strip in the revenue. Two million that was the brew. I can strip and disappear too. Don't take off. Strip. Take off some more. Take off. Take off some more. Strip. Take off some more. Shoot. Take it off. Suck. Take it off. Bang. Take it off. Shirt. Take it off. So take off. Take off some more. Strip. Take off some more. Take off. Take off some more. Strip. Take off some more.